Hi guys, today we're going to do a new video in our math series and today we're going to learn complex integration, particularly the part 1, that is when the contour is a circle. I'm going to get to what a contour is. Okay, so first off, what is complex integration? Well, it is a method of evaluating certain integrals along paths in a complex plane. You see, I've iterated the word paths. Now, what does this mean? So, if there are two points A and B in my complex plane, <clears throat> so I can connect them using a straight line or I can connect them by going horizontally and then traveling a distance vertically or I can connect them using a parabola. Now, what's the main difference between these? Uh, in complex integration, a path is of utmost importance. That is, this integral is not equal to this integral is not equal to this integral. So that's the major difference between a normal integration and a complex integration. Okay, so let's get started with the examples. First off, the first question is, evaluate dz upon z minus z0 to the power n plus 1, where n is equal to an integer and c is a circle mod of z minus z0 equal to r. So this is a complex circle, okay? So as you guys know that when mod z is equal to r, I can write this as z is equal to r to the power r into e to the power i theta. Okay, so since the circle is given as mod of z minus z naught is equal to r, that means I can write z minus z naught is equal to r into e to the power i theta. Now let's uh, represent this circle uh, graphically. So here I have my complex plane. Okay. And um, z minus z0, mod z minus z0 equal to r indicates that this is my center and this is my radius. So z0 being my center and I draw a circle with radius r. And now since it is integrated for a whole complete circle, my I have to integrate it from 0 to 360 degrees, that is 0 to 2 pi. So let's get started with the problem. Um, first off, I'm going to assume that z minus z0 is equal to r into e to the power i theta. So uh, since I'm substituting z minus z0 is equal to r into e to the power i theta, I have to have a substitution for dz2. So we take a derivative of this, so we get dz minus 0 because z0 is a constant is equal to i times r e to the power i theta d theta. Okay, so once I have dz and once I have this, I can substitute in my integral. Okay, so now dz is as stated i times r e to the power i theta d theta upon z minus z naught is r into i to the power theta to the power n plus 1. So this will give me Effectively, if you solve, it would give you 1 upon r to the power n integral e to the power minus i n theta d theta. Okay, so this because this becomes i to the power i times n plus 1 theta and you have i e to the power i theta in the numerator. So it gets cut and you get e to the power minus i n theta. Okay, so... Now, and this I have to evaluate from 0 to 2 pi. So, uh, as I see it, I have two cases in front of me. Case 1 would be when n is equal to 0. So, when I put n is equal to 0, my integral becomes i times d theta 0 to 2 pi. Because uh, n is equal to 0, so this becomes 1, and I have d theta itself. So 0 to 2 pi d theta uh, integral would be 1 and i times 1 between 0 to 2 pi would give me 2 pi i. Now case 2, as you guess it, that's right, when n is not equal to 0. So that's like a normal number. So when n is not equal to 0, I substitute. So we know that um, e to the power i theta is cos theta plus i sine theta. So similarly, e to the power minus i n theta would be cos n theta minus i sine n theta. Okay, so just substitute it and 
we get cos of n theta minus i sin n theta d theta between the integral 0 to 2 pi and 1 to the power 1 upon r to the power n outside so this integral if you evaluate we get it as i is equal to i'm really sorry for the mess i'm creating but if you do it with me you'll understand that the integrals which you get are perfectly correct so sin n theta plus i cos n theta 0 to 2 pi so substitute this and you'll get a big fat 0 so my answer would be that for case 1 I got 2 pi i and for case 2 I got 0 so my answer would be 2 pi i effectively okay so now uh, we'll cover a new variety of question in which if a z in a question is replaced by z bar what do you do so for example you have this evaluate z bar dz okay so since you guys know that z is equal to r to the power i theta and so dz will always remain i r e to the power i theta d theta and however when you substitute z here you can write z bar always as r into e to the power minus i theta because z and z bar are just conjugates and you don't really need to worry about anything else and that's how we solve this okay so let's cover a new variety in this type and that will be the final type you will encounter and so let's get started um, the question is evaluate log z dz okay uh, over a circle c where c is a unit circle in the z plane okay but um, here you have to prove that the integral is equal to 2 pi i so let's get started um, now it's, it's, uh, it says that it's a unit circle, so my r is always equal to 1. So uh, z is equal to r e to the power i theta. Instead of that, I can put directly z is equal to e to the power i theta. Okay, and as, as always, dz will be i e i theta d theta. And theta varies from 0 to 2 pi because it's a circle. Okay. So, um, let's get started. Um, I, I have to find the integral for the, so I'll put log z, in spade of z, I'll put e to the power i theta, and instead of dz, I'll put i e to the power i theta d theta, and this I have to integrate over the closed circle c. Now, log of any, uh, log of let's say log e to the power 2 is always 2 log e to the power 3 is 3 because log is always generally taken with the base e so you take here so 3 log e to the base e will give you 3 times 1 because log of a number with its same base is always 1 so similarly here I have to integrate i theta times i e to the power i theta d theta that will give me minus because i squared is equal to minus 1 e to the power i theta theta d theta between 0 to 2 pi okay so now e to the power i theta theta okay so in, in this you have to use the i late rule that is you have to use the chain rule of integration if you don't know you must look it up in a wiki on wikipedia uh, otherwise you won't understand what i'm doing Okay, so uh, using I late, we get that U is equal to theta and dV is equal to e to the power I theta. Okay, so now using the formula that integral is equal to UV minus integral V du, doing the substitutions, I'm going to write the final as this is UV. So theta times e to the power i theta upon i. So since you can see this is u times v. So dv is equal to e to the power i theta. Then v would be e to the power i theta upon i minus y, v, integral v du. So v, as you know, it's e to the power i theta upon i times du. So u was theta. So du will be 1 times d theta. So this I have to integrate between 0 to 
2 pi. So that will give me minus theta times e to the power i theta. This remains same plus e to the power i theta between 0 to 2 pi. If you do your calculations, you'll get this. Okay, so now I just have to substitute the value. And after substituting the value, I'll get 2 pi upon i plus 1 minus 1. So this will give me, therefore, I'll get this because uh, when you solve this, you'll get e to the power 2 i pi, which is eventually equal to 1. When you substitute 2 pi here, so I'll get uh, e to the power i times 2 pi. So e to the power uh, e to the power i times 2 pi is eventually same as e to the power 2 i pi, which is equal to 1 because cos 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi is always equal to 1. Okay, so that would be my answer. So this, since this is the minus sign outside, I will just convert it to, um, so that as you know that, see, i squared is equal to minus 1. So i times 1 by, um, i square i times i is equal to minus 1. So therefore, i can be written as minus 1 by i. So here I have minus 1 by i here. So I'm going to substitute that by i. So my final answer is 2 pi i. And that's my answer. So I'm just going to give you guys a practice problem. And let's see if you can do it for me. The question would be evaluate z square dz, where so c is a circle with x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sine theta from 0 to, from theta equal to 0 to pi by 3. Excuse my handwriting in this one. Okay, so uh, just solve this for me and the, you should get the answer as minus 2 r cubed by 3. It will be a practice for you. If you don't get, just leave a comment and I'll explain you how I got it. Okay guys, so much thank you for watching and do subscribe if you like our videos and leave a comment. It keeps me going. Thank you guys.